Do you know how you can use NGRX with Angular Signal? You will not believe me how easy it is and we'll see that in this video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, we'll make videos like this, which is related to programming and web development. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. So we all know what a angular signal is. It's quite popular now, it's everywhere. But if you don't know what it is, how angular is migrating towards angular signal and signal based component and all, I have some videos and I will link the playlist in the card. You can go and watch them and they, this will be an addition to the playlist. And in this video, we'll discuss about how you can use NGRX and angular signal together. And to demonstrate that I have used one of my old NGRX series code base. So I have updated that to angular 16 and we'll use that to see how you can use signal with NGRX. So from this video, we'll get two things. One will get how we can use signal with NGRX. Also, our old repository is got updated. So now with the NGRX uh, application or the NGRX tutorial, which we have in our past videos, that will be updated to newer NGRX version. So let's dive into the code. So as you can see here, this is the same application which we have in our NGRX series. And again, I will link the whole playlist in the card. You can go and watch them. Those are pretty intensive. You will get an in-depth knowledge of NGRX. So in this video, I'm expecting that you know NGRX, you know what is a action selector, reducer, and all those things. But if you don't know, I will highly suggest, please go and watch them first then watch this video because this will not make much sense if you don't know what is NGRX and how it works together. So coming back to the updation from Angular 12 to Angular 16. So what I have done, I will just open the Git. I have updated the packages, which you can see here. And I will just show you what problem I have faced. I have faced problem with JS with the newer version of Angular, uh, June 0.14 is not working somehow. So I have just used 0 0.13. The latest TypeScript doesn't work. It's showing, throw, it's throwing some error to me. So I've used 5.1.3. So that's the only two things you have to update if you're using any package updater like NCU or uh, manually if you're updating by seeing the latest. Or you can use ng update as well. That will handle a lot of things for you. But I thought to just to go with normal update so that I can see what things can be broken. And after that, if I'll go to the effects and in, in our previous version, we had declared all our action and services in the constructor because at that time we don't have inject function, which can directly inject in the variable. So what, what will happen now instead of a class, you can directly also create effect and inject inject your action inside the effect and do it. So it's just like a TS file with const as a variable instead of a class, you can do that as well. So that's the two changes which I uh, see wh while updating, but I prefer to go with a class-based approach because that's what all our uh, tutorial is based upon. Similarly, it happens with all other things like in our uh, components, instead of declaring in the constructor, we have used inject to declare the store. And the next one, and which is the biggest one, is our selector. It might have given you an error if you have if you have used uh, the code earlier code base that our get selector is now renamed to get router selector because all other methods are named like that. So they have decided to rename it to get router selector and the get selector is discontinued now. So that I have just updated and everything is working as expected. And one more thing is I have changed the target from 2015 to 2022 and everything is working fine now. And in our browser, if I just hit refresh, if you see we have three card and after two seconds, less than 2000 card will be gone. And I will show you why that is happening is if we'll go to our movie selector here. So we are using this greater selector and the greater selector accept an amount. And it's saying that 
this selector which uses movie selector and the movie selector is the selector which is select all the movies which we have and it's returning all the movies which is which price or earning is greater than the amount we are providing and if we go to our component here we are saying initially that our movie is observable and we are piping with our this selector and and we are pointing to the greater selector and the greater selector will only return the movie's values which is greater than thousand thousand millions in in this scenario and after five second we are changing that thousand to two thousand so that's what you, you you are able to see when i refresh you see three cards one of them is 1400 so it will go up to five seconds so that's all and if we and we can add something and there are a lot more in the video series you can go and watch them you will have an in-depth knowledge and now we'll see how we can use signals to show these things or to work with ngrx and it's quite easy because your effects will going to work with observable how it should be and your reducer and actions are bind together with your effects and all now the only things which we need to change is our pipe because the pipe is we are accessing it in our html or in our component and that we can change direct to signal in our scenario if, if you are using component store and i will make a videos on uh, ngrs component store and we'll see how signal will help us there as well so to do that we can just do like this so instead of store.pipe.select we have a method store.select signal and it will accept a selector which which is our greater selector and we are passing that to our, to create a signal and similar similar to this we'll just go ahead and use this dot store dot signal instead of the select we'll go to our html instead of using it movie as a async pipe what we'll do i will just remove the async pipe and call movie because i think this is an error okay because i haven't changed the name from dollar to non-dollar so now this is a signal of movies array and if we'll go here now our movies is a signal which we are accessing in our html now if you go to our application and if you see everything is working as expected if i add something here which is more than 2000 it will be added everything else will going to work as it is because we haven't changed anything else except the signal which were observable earlier so that's it guys today we saw how we can use select signal or how we can use signal with ngrx and as you saw it's quite easy you just need to use select signal which will convert your selector to an signal and you can use that signal in your html or in your code base however you want in our future video we'll see how we can use computed and all the other signals expose method with ngrx to make our life easier so please hit the like button if you like the video till now please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss future videos please do share this video i'm your friends family colleague we're going to meet in the next video till then stay happy bye bye